Today, Madeline is setting the table. The first table set we're going to show you is the breakfast table set. Here's what it looks like when there's all but one place set because Madeline's going to show us one place set for each setting that we're going to demonstrate. And I've also laid out to the left of the head of the table the gravy boat and the butter dish. Here is the demonstration breakfast setting that we are going to use. For this place here, we are going to demonstrate using what is normally a salad plate and a dessert bowl because breakfast is meant to be smaller portions. We also have the bread plate for this one. We're going to be using a drinking glass and for this one we're going to demonstrate a coffee mug but without the um, but without the plate that goes under it. The triangle folded napkin and the silverware pieces. The first place setting that she is going to do is the what is normally a salad plate but when you're doing a breakfast it is the breakfast plate. So I'm going to move the bowl for you. Take the salad plate We've got all the dishes laid out for different meals, but we're just going to demonstrate breakfast at the moment. Remember to set it right at the edge in the center of the seat, but at the edge of the table. Next, you're going to add the dessert bowl. Always place bowls in the very center of the plate. Move it towards the middle a little bit more, please. No, the bowl. Move it towards the center of the plate. Look at it from a different angle. There you go. That's another reason why it's good to set all of them at one time and go around like start here and then go there because you may get over there and be like, oh, that bowl is not centered. The next one that you are going to lay is you're going to lay the fork. With every place setting, the fork always goes to the left, left of the plate. So please grab your fork and put it right next to the plate closer. We want to keep the place settings tight because you're feeding multiple people at the table. Next you're going to take your napkin. What shape do you fold the napkin in for a breakfast setting? Triangle. Triangle. So fold the napkin into a triangle. Very good. Now the point goes in or out. Out. Make sure you press it. Very good. Next comes the what silverware piece? The spoon? Nope. Knife? The knife. The knife always goes first with the blade pointing towards or away from the plate. Towards? The blade always points towards the plate and then goes the spoon. spoon. Now, next I need you to grab the bread plate. The bread plate goes at the 12 o'clock position above the fork. Where's the fork? Here, I'll move the sugar spoon. We also have the setting for like creamer and sugar for the coffee. Next, I need you to add the glass. Please use both hands and the glass goes at the 12 o'clock position above the knife. A little bit back away from it. That way when they pick the knife up, no, 12 o'clock, directly in front of. Remember when I'm saying a clock positions, think of a clock. Where is the 12 at the clock? Is at the very, very top and that's where you want your cup to be. Now, grab your coffee cup. The coffee cup needs to go in the 2 o'clock position to the spoon. Very good. Nope, a little bit higher. You had it. Very good. Now, that is what a breakfast setting looks like. And then from here, we're going to do the lunch setting. So this is what the finished lunch setting looks like. It's not that different from the breakfast setting. All you do is change a few dishes and sometimes add a couple different dishes or replace them. So we're going to show you how to set the lunch setting. 
This is the lunch setting that we are using. We do not have the little fork, so we're not going to demonstrate using it. And we are also going to add using the teacups. So up next to the regular cups, we're also going to be using the teacups in this demonstration. Okay, so even though the lunch setting was not that different from the breakfast, we still cleared it off to have Madeline redo it again. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> So if nothing else, practice makes perfect. Okay, so we're going to start with the salad plate. Go ahead and grab it. Remember, center of the table, or center of the chair towards the edge of the table. Great. Now, for breakfast, you use a dessert bowl. For lunch, you use a soup bowl. So grab the soup bowl. Remember to place it in the center of the plate. Keep going, it's not center. There we go, very good. And watch your chin. All right, next, place the salad fork. Left or right? Left or right? And then instead of the triangle napkins, we use the rectangle. rectangle napkins. But it still goes beside the fork. No, it even even with the bottom of the fork. There we go. Next is the knife. The knife. And the knife blade goes towards the plate. Towards the plate. Make sure you turn it straight. There you go. And then next goes the soup spoon. Again, if we had a smaller fork, you actually set two forks for lunch, but we actually do not have one, so we're going to leave it like that. Okay, the bread plate goes to the 12 o'clock position above the fork. All right, now take the glass and put it in the 12 o'clock position above the plate, or the uh, knife. Very good. Make sure it's center. Now you're going to take the tea saucer and put it at the two o'clock position to the spoon. That would be three o'clock. Higher, higher, that's good. Now, make sure you see that the plate has the little dip in the middle. Make sure the center of the saucer goes in that hole and the handle always points to the right. Good. And that's finished for the lunch one. This is more set for like a tea time lunch, but we wanted to show a demonstration using the teacups as well. So that's why we did it this way. So here is the lunch one. This is a dinner setting example that we are going to use for our dinner setting with the dishes that we have. So we don't have the bread plate or a bread knife to go with this set. So we're not going to show you how to set that part of it. And we also do not have the soup bowls, so instead we're going to use the dessert bowls. Some holiday dinners that you go to though, they will sometimes serve like a jello beforehand and they will usually use these bowls anyways. So that's another reason why we decided to do it that way. This set also comes with a creamer bowl or a sugar bowl and a creamer dispenser. So Madeline is going to do step by step and then again her dishes are right here ahead of time so that she can just grab them and set it herself because this is something very easy to do. Alright start with the, di the dinner plate please. The dinner plate always goes in the very center of the table towards the edge. You want it in the center around the chair at the edge of the table. That's good. The second one she is going to do is the salad plate. The salad plate goes in the very center of the dinner plate. And then the next one would normally be a soup bowl, but like we said, we're going to do a dessert bowl. The next one she's going to do is take one of the napkins out of the napkin holder because we do not have any fabric napkins at this time. Fold it in half. Place the non-folded side under the plate. Push it down so it's folded. No, the other way, you had it right. Not all the way under the plate. Remember, you just want it barely under the edge of the plate. 
Now take the larger fork and put it closest to the plate. And the easiest way to teach them how to do it is the smallest always goes on the outside. The largest goes on the inside. Even over here with the spoons that she's fixing to set. The smallest goes on the outside. The largest goes on the inside. Now the next one she is going to set is the knife. The knife always goes closest to the plate with the blade facing towards the plate. I love this set because on the other side does not have the stripe pattern. So that's an easy way for her to remember that the blade goes on the inside because the stripe pattern's on the outside. So if you're actually looking at investing in a set um, to do for formal eating, for to teaching children how to set the table, look for one where it has the pattern on the f only one side, and that way they can learn an easier way to do it. Now, the next one is what? The big spoon. Make sure the bottom of the spoon is even with the bottom of the knife, and make sure it's all the way next to it. And then next to it goes the smaller spoon. And then that all, again, smallest to biggest. Now the next one we're going to do is the larger drinking glass. The larger drinking glass goes at the, they call it the one o'clock position. So it's not like dead center up here. It's about one o'clock right here. Then next to it goes the smaller drinking glass. It goes above the spoons closer to the plate. And the last one that you place is the coffee mug, which she hasn't actually learned this one, so I'm going to help her. It goes right here, like it's between the two glasses. And the handle always faces to the right. The only unfortunate thing about teaching table settings is it's taught to set it from a right-handed person's perspective. So I think she did really good with this one. And this is how you set it for a dinner setting. It's also more for a more formal dinner setting because not all dinner settings do you use the smaller fork or the smaller spoon. And most people for a dinner setting do not have two glasses and a coffee mug. But that's the way that we've set it for this one. And that's it for all of our table settings. If you want a link to the chart that I use for the table settings to save for later, I will leave the link in the description below. I want to thank Madeline for being such a great helper and helping me with this one. And we'll see you next time. Say bye, Madeline. Bye.